All right, you're good. Okay, hi. Uh, the first question is, so who are your close friends who are teachers? Um, I have a, a lot of close friends who are teachers. Uh, if you mention in this building, probably uh, my departments, so global language departments, so the teachers were really close. Uh, and uh, I also work in junior high, so because of my classroom in the science wing, so I have a couple of the science teachers are very close to me. And the second question is, why did you move to America? So this is a really good question. I can see <laughs> um, I, was brought, uh, I was born in China and uh, brought up in China. I finished my uh, uh, university, uh, my college in China, and actually I worked for uh, about like 10 years, let me say 1991 to 2005 actually. Right, so uh, I've been working there for a long time and I had a very decent job. So the reason I moved to United States is my marriage. I married to an American uh, and he's uh, such a nice guy. And so I decided, okay, uh, I come here to take a look. And then after I moved in and I found I like it and I found my job. So uh, another thing is uh, America uh, attracts me because uh, it's a uh, uh, value. Uh, the value of freedom and uh, democracy. So that's also like kind of American dream for everyone. Uh, next question is, uh, what do you think about the angled view? So I don't know this uh, question, so I skip this. Next one is, uh, has anyone in your family done foot binding? my mother's mother, great, but I say grandmother, yes. Yeah, she did that, okay, and I still kind of remember that. But the that is a foot binding was uh, abandoned in 1911, so I think most of people, most of the girls will not follow that rule. Uh, the people follow these rules at that time, as in before 19, is because uh, they try to limit the women's uh, uh, activity. So they can limit the women only work at home or in the field. So they will not work outside. And they will, uh, only their duty is to take care of their husband and uh, their kids. And it's a kind of uh, very uh, bad custom, I think. Next one is uh, uh, were you in China during the Tiananmen Square incident? What was your experience? Uh, one that happened, I was a junior in uh, Xi'an Jiao Tong University. It's about uh, uh, like uh, 10 hours by train from Beijing. So I heard a lot of my friends went to Tiananmen Square for like sit up and uh, also do sorry do a lot of stuff. So this is a really you know uh, it's a kind of a bad memory for me, but uh, I think I shouldn't forget that. Um, one of my friend, yeah, after the incident, he was put into the jail. And uh, all of uh, the classmates had to write some of the reports about uh, this incident. So kind of a we attended like three months of uh, brainwash uh, discussion. They call it discussion of forum. So we need to figure out you know what we should do next step and then we how we should follow the rules. Okay, all kinds of stuff. So basically after that, uh, I just uh, think, okay, that's all. I don't want to do anything about the government. What I need to do is just to concentrate on my academics. So that's the uh, turning point. Before that, we were very 
enthusiastic for like freedom, democracy, and all kind of stuff. Uh, we think it's pretty fancy. <laughs> so uh, after that, because they did all kinds of uh, control, so we say, okay, forget that. No more government stuff. And that's probably the only the the turning point. So before that, I'm a Communist Party follower, and after that, uh, I'm not against that, but uh, I choose not follow them anymore. Okay. Next one is uh, how important is the ranking prestige of college you go? Uh, why do people make it a big deal if it's not? How important is it? Uh, so you mean so why I went to the college? Yes, the ranking of prestigious is very important. Uh, in China, usually they think of the good students are good, go to a good college. Probably here is the same. So uh, we always choose the, the best of uh, best uh, college if you can go. And another thing that's different from here is the, uh, in China, the, uh, the, you have to pass the exam. It's different here. You have a lot of chances to get to the uh, good school. But here, but over there in China is uh, your score. You look at your score. If you have a high score, you can go to good college. If you have a poor score, probably you cannot. How and when did you meet your husband? That's a very private question. Um, what I can tell you is that we uh, we know each other because of a uh, friend. So the friend think, oh, you two probably can become a, a good friend. So we start actually is a chat with each other online. Okay, we email each other. And uh, we found that we have a lot of interest, common interest. Both of us love math. Both of us love poetry. So, and then he came to China visit me. So we had a lot of uh, uh, talking and sharing. And then we found that okay, that's the right man and that's the right woman. So we we uh, we decided we should go for marriage. Have you always been a teacher or have you had other jobs? What makes you want to become a teacher? Yeah, uh, I always wanted to be a teacher when I was a kid. So I remember when I was the first grade, uh, my teacher asked us to write an uh, essay. Uh, what do you want to be in the future or what do you want to be when you grow up? I think my, uh, my essay is to be a uh, uh, human soul engineering, so engineer, something like that. Uh, so why, why I read that to my, uh, the, for the whole class, and a lot of students, uh, my classmates say, oh, you want to be an engineer? I said, no, not engineer, I want to be a soul engineer. It's different. So we think soul engineer, that's the teachers. Okay? And my teacher, of course, loved my paper very much at that time. Um, and then uh, in China, a teacher um, deserve respect, uh, but like uh, their like a salary or the other things are not that high. So uh, after I graduate from college, I actually I be become an interpreter, working for a state run government run uh, agent, the travel agents, agency. So I become a travel agent. Uh, I deal a lot of uh, uh, tourists or the delegations from uh, other countries, like from America, Israel, uh, uh, England, and uh, Europeans, a lot of European countries. So I learned the different uh, cultures, and I, I really like my job. Uh, of course, uh, you know, when you talk to the people, you have to talk about culture, you have to talk about uh, uh, a lot of stuff. So that's why I, after I come to the United States, I think uh, to be a teacher probably is a good job. And also, uh, my son's uh, uh, teachers inspire me. 
So I visit my son's uh, elementary school, the teachers' delegations, and the, their you know passions in, in influence me. I say, wow, oh, it's a really good job to be a teacher. Who is your favorite Chinese rule? I think it's uh, prime, uh, Premier Chou Enlai. Chou Enlai is my favorite. Why? Because uh, he devoted everything to his country, his uh, people. He has no personal bank account. He, he, did, he didn't have any children, so he did probably he just uh, everything contribute to this country. Do you ever dance or sing wine scenes when you are alone? Yes, I love dance and sing. Next one is, uh, uh, what's one thing you wish you can tell your 20 years old self? Okay, so talk, talk to myself when I was 20 years old, right? Okay, I think just say, uh, pursue your dream, go ahead. If Sigma had a different um, mascot. <laughs> what would you have that mascot be? Okay, I don't know. Maybe Unicefer? Maybe John Panda? But these are all my favorite things. Uh, next one, uh, how do you think working in the same school your son goes impact your relationship? Yes, uh, my eldest son Yuan has been here for four years. Okay, this uh, is uh, senior year. Um, there's no difference. He's very polite to me when he see me on the hallway, and he will agree to me. So I appreciate that. I heard some uh, teachers' uh, children never greet them or never look at them when they see them on the hallway. Uh, another thing is uh, I can know his uh, teachers better. That's my colleagues. So I like to talk to their uh, teachers so I know my colleagues from the different point of view as a parent. So uh, I enjoy working here and I enjoy uh, my son stay in the same school. I hope I answer all my students' questions. Thank you so much.